Hi, my name is Bob Gunia, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm here with Henk Euro, and this morning we cranked up his Vega experiment. And the idea this morning was to try and get some very high resolution imagery of things that were going on in the tank to see if we could learn more information using the Sony Alpha camera, which gives us the ability to change the focal point with a very bright lens very specifically and to change the shutter speed to as much as one thirty-two thousandth of a second to change the uh, ISA down to uh, 50 uh, even and change the 100 and change things like the uh, iris, the f-stop to ranging from 2.3 up to 22 um, giving us dips, different depths of fields and different intensity of focus or, or clarity of focus. And also, um, you know, exposure compensation and so forth. And this allows us to look into the inside of plasma. And so what we've got is a series of photos. Some of them are not good, some of them are okay. Um, but we're just going to run through them and just comment on them as we go. So. Hank, this is the first photo of the day. Uh, what do you think? What do you th what do you see here? What do I see here? Well, um, for me, it was more of the same till you came with this camera, because then you can see indeed into this objects. And um, yeah, well, I, I think uh, you uh, start the lead, and I will follow. Um, so here you can see that pointy bit, uh, which is the end of the tungsten. And what is the central part of the anode there? That is uh, um, stainless steel with a copper brass, I mean, bolt in it, uh, but that is burned away, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And that was on purpose because I had it before and it was nice fireworks. In this case, it disappeared slowly, but it disappeared. Mm -hmm. And the tungsten, as you can see, is also disappeared because it started somewhere on the bottom yeah, and now it's been eaten away and now there's a needle left. So the end is being eaten um, and every time a bit when a ball lightning is or something is on the top of it and being very very bright I, it's difficult even to catch it with this camera but um, it's been eaten away. So this is the a very interesting part. It's a known part of, of course, but now it's interesting to see uh, with this camera what's happening there. So this was just starting out, so it's got a little bit too much exposure and uh, there's a bunch of shots like this and you can see in the overall shot in the bottom left uh, what's going on and uh, we can have a close-up look here. So I think at this time I was looking at about one two hundred or one three hundred and fiftieth of a second. So it's a relatively long exposure compared to some of the latter shots. Um, but you still get to see some of the detail and it was chosen, the focal point was chosen around the midpoint of the anode, the tungsten here. And to make a remark, maybe the tung tungsten wire is one millimeter thick. So, to and, and what's the I, thickness of the anode stem there? This this uh, bit here. It's M M five. M five, like yeah. it's screw thread, right? It's screw, yeah, right. Steel, stainless steel, yeah. and I always screw with this long nut an anode to it, so I can okay. easily assemble a new one. Because you burn them. So you see these frames here, these might be two seconds apart and you can see a very broad change in the overall shot here from the previous one here to here. Yeah, and maybe a little spoiler already, this is very strong in communication with the cathode. I mean, now we don't see much happening at the cathode, but it's not that is not now, you can see Yeah, it. so this is like two seconds later and you've got a... 
a lot yeah, going on could... Un underneath it. So what what is that bit in there that you're seeing? Is yeah, that this... that's the brass knee? Is it? Yeah, there's a piece of plumbing material from bra brass. I found it, so the screw is off, but it, it's hollow inside. But oh. now you see ha something happening behind the object. Yeah. And, um, that that is what I discuss with Bob all the time. I say yeah. the plasma wants to hide, and yeah. you can see it. It's hiding again. Yeah. You don't see it's it. not on the top of the brass, is no, it? No, it's not. No, it's down on the iron. Yeah, it's farther away from the anode. What you yeah. would not expect. Yeah. In, your intuition will tell you it's on top of it, closer to the anode. But no, it's sometimes it's far, far away from the anode that they have the things happening, and that's in a weird, that's weird, strange. It's not, um, let's say, something you would expect as first uh, thing to happen. So what's that um, silvery blob there? What, what are we looking at there? Do we know what that is? Uh, actually not. Uh, that is something we have to explore later on when we open the tank because I, the, it is on a steel bar and this was polished, well polished in the, simply polished, but this is a, uh, it seems like a, Yeah, it, you can actually see the outside of the window there that we're looking through as well right now. It's just this kind of little halo around the outside. Yeah, that's also a point. It's difficult to, ple to, keep, to keep the windows clean. But it, it looks like there is a blob create. Oh, maybe it's the screw. It's upstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, maybe the screw fall down on the, on, on the bottom. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the brass screw. Probably it is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come from the end of that. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. And and so here here now we can see around the tungsten there's this kind of halo, isn't there? Yeah, and sometimes uh, we have had videos, pictures of um, the halo being much bigger and yeah. it's becoming a tornado turning around the whole anode. But that's not in these photos. But you can maybe you can can already say this this halo is a kind of double layer structure that is uh, starting to grow but then it's very dynamic so now it collapses probably again in the next photo. <laughs> very different uh, shot here just like two seconds later so yeah a bit more of a glow. Now if you were to look at this with other cameras this whole thing would just be one glow you probably wouldn't see much of anything. <laughs> But, and with your eye though, you would actually see a lot. It's quite weird the way different cameras on your eye represent this. So don't take what you're seeing here as gospel. This is a representation of the iris size, the f-stop, the, the uh, yeah. ASA, the, um, not ISA, <laughs> ASA, um, the uh, shutter speed and so forth. Yeah. That's why I said many times I see something different with my eyes. The yeah. camera cannot capture what I see. Yeah. And this is the same again. Uh, you see something different with your own eyes. Yeah. So I mean this is just looks like one big ball. But probably yeah, no it, it is. It looks it, like it, a discharge it, down it, to it, the it, bottom, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. And there is yeah. And there is and it, it ain't a big ball. But big discharge. Yeah. And then the color is also always changing. Blue, green. Yeah, look at the orange. difference there. It's green, purple. And now it's like white because you can see the 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 yeah. the screw it's it's a bright this, this light. looks like brass. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah, dirty brass. I mean it was clean brass, yeah, but yeah, now yeah. it's dirty. Yeah, yeah. So there's all soot already. In. Yeah, it's already got the soot over it. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. what is this soot? Probably carbon because we <laughs> yes. put in we put in hydrogen, so yeah, it yeah, must yeah. be carbon. Yes, so yeah. That is the stupid yeah. simple conclusion I, I make, but mm -hmm. I, I would like to uh, have Bob investigate yeah. it. If this is really carbon, yeah. where does it come from? Yeah, well, where's it coming from? From the hydrogen, that's yeah. my statement, because we put in the hydrogen already yeah. a few times. And then the blue glowing stuff, that is also something. And it, it forms these squiggles, doesn't it, this blue stuff? Yeah, but I've seen it before, it is more like glowing something in the, in the rubble. I mean, yeah, yeah. There, there is some activity below the rubble. And, and that, although there was no rubble, 
Now look at that it, one. It has the, the, the same... Um, this, this is the tungsten going for it, isn't it? This, yeah, this exactly. is a lot of and broad now, spectrum. Yeah, exactly. And this is the moment you lose a, a piece of the tungsten. It's, it's going, you see. This is back, forward, back, forward. So some, something really intense is going on there with the tungsten. And and you never, I'm, I've never been able, you can watch with your own eyes, with your bare, bare eyes, you can look in it, it's no problem, but you cannot see the details. That's too bright to, to, mm -hmm. to see the details. And so, yeah, it looks it looks like it's retreated a bit there. And uh, now it's gone, but now there is a halo. So know? let's go back a few steps and then we look at the tungsten here. So uh, we can see where the point is there. The camera's not moving, so I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go back a few. That's the glow bit. And there you go. So uh, it looks like it's moved back a bit. So where that tip is, it's kind of pointing more towards the bottom right. And if we go forward to, uh, this is three seconds. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. moved uh, uh, one millimeter maybe. Well, there's a, there's, no, there's a move in the camera there. That is oh, okay. Actually. okay. But well, uh, I can see, uh, it looks like the, the Yeah, it looks like the it's been eaten away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so sometimes, sometimes I'm changing the specifics on the camera and when we look at these images later you'll find that um, uh, the embedded specifics of the exposure length and so on it will be in there. But there's more of this going on. Here we go, we've got more. There's a lot of it going on here now. So, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this hasn't moved. But have we got a loss there? <laughs> How much has the tungsten has been lost there? At least. So look, look. So we come in, boom, 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 boom. That's a chunk, a chunk of tungsten oh, that's gone there. More, yeah. That's that's. So that's, look, that's, how much? Let's the say thick, the thickness of the wire is a millimeter, so it's probably yeah. one, one, so, one, one or two millimeters is gone. So this is two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So, in t it, it, let's say in ten seconds or so, it's lost a, a chunk of the wire there. So, so how thick was the wire again? You said one millimeter. Right. So you can compare it a little bit. Yeah. That's a significant amount. Now, the interesting thing would be is is to see if it, there's a perceivable increase in carbon deposit on. Sorry, let's go back here. So where we where we can see the knee here, do we see a significant in change in carbon deposit there uh, over this little cycle here? I don't know. Maybe the thing is, you need to get to the next bright spot before you can see it. Yeah. It almost looks cleaned off here. So if I go back to where you can see it's bright, just there, it looks almost like it's brassy in that section in the center of the frame there. I've seen everything. I've seen stuff getting dirty and later on it's been yeah. eaten clean again by yeah. the EVOs running around. So, I don't know. Um, this, is, this is a lovely example of where the tungsten is glowing around the whole thing. And that's very different from you come back to here and you've got it, you've got it really bright, bright now the thing is, I'm not changing the, the... Everything's fixed at this point. So you have the tip of this, which is really, really bright. Okay, that's really, really bright. I'm not changing any of the... It's all manual at this time. So you can see how bright the bottom is of the tungsten part of the coil there, and the, and the right upper side. And if we move beyond this area where it's burned down, and go past this point, you can almost end up with areas like this where it looked brighter on the rest of it, even though you haven't got this intense glow at the tip. Um, whether that means so much, I don't know. Um, but it, it, this is, the, is this this sort of HHO effect where you have a thing that's glowing more than it should do? Uh, it's not a temperature thing, it's kind of an electron phenomenon. Here, look, you've got it changing here. And you'll see this later when um, there are the tufts or the balls of fire on the surface.
And you can actually see there, we discussed this earlier, it looked like there's some sort of crust. Is that W203? Is it tungsten oxide or is it something else that's on there? And you can see it's actually on the outside more than the inside. I do a prediction. Yeah. It's all kind of hey, rubbish. It's it. Yeah. I mean, this system destroys everything and creates everything and it deposits it everywhere. And actually now you can barely see that tip. So if I go back, you can see even between there, it's, it's, uh, that might be in a few seconds where I've, I've changed the specifics of the camera. But certainly there's this bright bit here, there, there, if you go back beyond that bright bit, it's big. Like, so before this bright bit, there, it's all the way around there, okay? And, and if I go forward, not a lot of time, the tungsten over here is getting smaller, it does another little flash, and now it's all the way around there. <laughs> it's barely seeing the tip at all. Yeah. Um, and what is interesting, it's a, it's a sharp pointy thing. And uh, that shape is created because it was a stomp uh, mm -hmm. end. And, and the first time it started, it was immediately a point mm -hmm. and doesn't change. So it, it's eating it away over a well, what can it be? Five millimeters mm -hmm. length. Mm -hmm. That is where the whole, yeah, process is taking place. It is not in the tip itself because then it would be stomp again. But mm -hmm. it's 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 a needle, so it's the whole thing is in the in 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 over maybe five millimeter length. Mm -hmm. Now here we're starting to see a ball of fire. And I think the pump was running all the time. Is yeah. It, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, you were varying things. It's periodically, we're changing the the current applied and yeah, yeah, exactly. the pump. And now, on the bottom, the Evo, the Bo, the ball lightning is is showing its face sometimes. Yeah. It's peeking around the corner. Starting to see some more tufts coming in here and higher up. Lots of tufts now. And when you see these blurred tufts, this is when they're kind of like spinning around and you're seeing over the exposure length these uh, blurred areas. Of course, on the end of this. So, what is this rod that you've got sticking out here? That, that. Well, that is the same tungsten wire. I mm. had to stick it through this nut mm -hmm. and screw it tight with uh, the, um, the. So th the this this bolt. gives a prone. Yeah, this is yes. Yeah. I did it on purpose to make it a little longer. Yeah. Just to invoke this this phenomenon. I yeah. know it will happen. And yes, there. Yeah, there we it go. Um, it likes to sit on a, on a tip, mm -hmm. and when you look closer to the tip, you've probably done it, before. you have done it, mm -hmm. you can see little points in the tip that will be affected and the rest is just soothed, the yeah. dirt. Um, and that's the difference of this short point and the long wire. The long wire is really being eaten, that a real activity is taking place and a little bit of the same activity is on the tip of this, uh, is this how do you call it, rod. So these images are uh, about, I think, 16-bit dynamic range encoded into Sony's RAW format. And the banding you're seeing here is because of the um, hardware that's capturing the HDMI. The actual pixel dimensions of this are sort of 50 megapixels. So there's a lot more information that can be taken out of these images. Um, so we have another engagement, so we're going to go quickly through this um, and just have a look at some more of the different images quick. So you can see here uh, we've got some very, very tight spacing, very discreet self-organization there. 
on the darker part of the tungsten coil, but below that you've got what appears to be this spinning effect, which is effectively blurring out the what what you're looking at there. So we'll run through and see a few examples here. And what is very interesting is to see the the bottom cathode activity and the anode activity they sync with. Yeah, they sync with each other. So down here, we're starting to see a phenomenon that it was thought was happening, where you get like a phallocosoliton type structure, and we need to de delve into this uh, the the bandwidth of the data to see it more. But you can see that that isn't round, it's more of this uh, figure of eight type uh, cardioid structure um, that is actually the bright spot. And you would never see this. And here's an extremely, so this, this got us quite excited. <laughs> it got me very excited and I'll explain why in a separate video. But if you come down here, uh, there's an overall glow and then there are two bright spots either side and then there are two spots in those spots and so I'm going to talk about that with respect to hydrodynamic systems um, but this was the first time really looking in detail at the cathode with this type of um, exposure yeah yeah and I've been seeing this this phenomena many times but my eyes are not as fast as this camera, <laughs> no. so you could see some strange things happening and now we are got, capturing uh, a few of them Yeah, and I hope we can capture more of them to be sure that yeah. we are capturing what we yeah. see or what we expect to see or what we think to see. This is all a bit blurred but after we go through this bit we will find some very nice examples where we have the um, the, the uh, tufts and look lovely. See this this is just a straight intense blue spot. <laughs> white blue white spot yeah sometimes you I've seen them hovering over the metal so then they yeah. are escaped somewhere and, and then like a ball mm -hmm. they 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 um, and, and, and it this looks like one of these uh, mm -hmm. really spherical balls uh, get past that. so here here we're starting to see really nice tufts. now you don't see these tufts without putting the hydrogen in yeah uh, and that's a really important point. And you see much more of them also going on to the nut when the vacuum gets lo lower, get a higher, better vacuum, vacuum, the tufts get bigger. Um, so there is a uh, clear correlation, correlation with uh, the pressure. And, and also what we notice when we're looking at this for the first time really is the fact that the balls of fire as it's described in that 2001 plasma physics journal they are not um, completely touching the surface here you can see that it's almost like they're floating above and there's an overall sheath that's interacting and, and binding it to the surface so I'm looking at this white one here in the center here and also this more purple one above Whereas you thought, well, maybe it's actually fully inside the metal. No, it doesn't appear to be. Um, and there are different shapes and, and different uh, glow around it. Like, See, they're more spherical, those ones on the top right. And in fact, that one there, look at that purpley one. It really looks a bit like a ball. And then it has an overall, it's like hanging sheet that's then going down to the metal. And this, this for me is a, a new finding. I've not seen anything like this discussed. Yeah, how how re how really small is the real inside ball, yeah. and how 
How is the glory? And, and why right? does it get close to the metal but not completely inside the metal? Yeah, right. And is it when it's bigger that it comes out further? Because the, the less intense ones above, which are nice and equally spaced. Yeah, but the other ones you cannot see because the, the, the air around it, the ions around it, yeah. are maybe more excited, so yeah. you cannot look inside anymore. Yeah. And the other is maybe a little bit opaque, you can look through it a little bit. Oh, this is interesting to, uh, to, to have many more of these pictures. Yeah. Because the topper ones are little tufts, you the, cannot see anything. No, you, you, they no, look maybe, like they're genuinely maybe the one, the, the, this, this one. Maybe. Yes, now I, you can, yes. Yeah. So he's referring to the, the upper layer where they're, they're more purpley. And if you take the third one round, it seems to have some substructure. And this is what you... Little white yeah. spot. Yeah. And maybe that's the case. And that maybe is, that's the substructure. And that, that is actually more closely defining the overall s scale of the core. Yeah, exactly. But the power, the, the intensity of this little, little core mm. hanging in air, hanging in a, yeah, in, in a sphere of, ha of, 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 of plasma. It, it Again, look at, look at the one here, this, this one on the top. Not, not the one on the, just sticking out. It really has a much whiter core with a purple bit around it. Yeah. These ones are really intense now. And when it gets intense, the camera cannot see the difference. Yeah, anymore. now what we're seeing here is this banding is to do with the sampling on the camera. It's, it's not a, an actual real thing. So uh, this is because I changed the sample rate. You get some really intense bright ones here now. And this is a mess because I, I changed it. Did I, did I change it to look down here? Right, well, I've well, got a few more minutes and then we're going to have to go. So come out of this. Looking down the bottom, I might be looking down the bottom. Not so interesting. We've seen much more interesting things going on on the bottom. Yeah. Not in this uh, piece of film or film or photos. Okay, yeah. so this is better. I mean, these are really nicely formed. You can see the ones that are spinning and the other ones that are static. And there's definitely some different scales here. I mean, this is not one type of scale of structure. So here's a more stable regime and here is one where they're spinning around. Stable, semi-stable, spinning around, stable. See, see how quantized that is, like, like how self-organized that is. Very regular organization. Oh, and, and now we've come, come into a completely different regime. And it's looking looking somewhere else, and it's and it's interesting because I noticed that I remember when this happened, this and this, sorry, this kind of a thing, and this are two seconds apart. But look what happened. It's a slight glow there, whatever, and then here, two seconds later, it, the tungsten is glowing at, like it looks like it's really hot. Go back to one of those nice tufty ones over here. And that, yeah, so one of these ones. There we go. So that is the Vega uh, with a one millimeter, did you say, or two millimeter tungsten wire? One. One millimeter tungsten wire. And uh, 
hydrogen producing these plasma balls. Yep. So thank you very much for your time, and uh, we will see you in the next video.